Guys, we have this glowfish tank here, and I've seen some really, really pretty fish. Always keep a mini rod in the back of your car, in your suitcase, wherever you are. Trust me, you guys, we'll definitely want it sooner or later. What's going on? Oh, oh look at this one taking off. Let's catch them all with Catch Em All Fishing with Zach Ketchum. Today on Time with Tim with Tim, I'm going to talk about my amazing sponsor, Mystery Tackle Box. It, it's Carl's Bait Shop. I meant Carl's Bait Shop. Seriously guys, uh, Carl's Bait Shop is awesome and you gotta click the link in the description below to get all this tackle, like I think they're giving away like a ton of stuff. So you earn points, you get more tackle and you just continue to grow, it's fire and it's also owned by Mystery Tackle Box, that's why we keep talking about it. Carl, you're the man and you also kind of look like Timmy. Hey. Sign up for Carl's Club, it's only $49 now and you'll get 30% off of like everything on the online store. The link is below. Carl, the guy who kind of looks like Timmy. Carl's Bait Shop is an online shop that adds hundreds of items every single month. Brand new, check it out. Thanks for your support. Carl's Bait Shop is awesome and the link is below. Hey. Guys, we have this glowfish tank here and I've seen some really, really pretty fish. Like, outstandingly pretty. And we're going to try to catch some of them so I can show you guys. Dude, it's been insane. On my lunch breaks, I've been out here just grabbing some and throwing them in the tank and stuff, but I haven't had my camera to record, so I really wanted to record something for you guys. I got some of these worms I was using to catch some birds earlier, and dude, I'm gonna try my best to get some of these giant fish, some of the smaller fish, but the really pretty fish is what I really wanna catch today. So, we have our light up reel, and we have our earthworm, and I'm gonna drop this down. Hopefully, we can catch some of these weird fish. We have a couple pieces of worms. Now, I'm just gonna put it on the hook, just like I'm fishing, you know, for anything else. I'm gonna completely hide the hook because I don't know how smart these fish are. I don't think they're too smart, but since we are next to a dock, I'm sure some people fish for them. So that's all we have right now. And I'm gonna go ahead, oof, good thing I have this little towel. I'm gonna leave this here and I'm gonna go ahead, see if I can catch anything. There's a lot of weird species out here. I've already caught one called the Texas a real grand cichlid or something, and it was really, really interesting. You've got to make sure that drag isn't too tight. Dude, there's a lot of weird stuff down here. Oh, I'm getting a bite already. I think. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, this is not what we're after, but the fact that I got a bite that fast in live time, dude, he swallowed the hook, and I immediately got a bite. So I'm going to go ahead and unhook this guy, throw him back, and we're going to keep on after those pretty fish. I know they're down there. When I put worms on the hook, I like to rip them in half so I have two different pieces. It, it, worms can actually regenerate when they get ripped in half, but they can't regenerate when they get eaten by a fish. That's because they have like seven hearts. Did actually, you know they that? have ten hearts, but oh wow, it's okay. You don't really know Matt or, or worm Matt. Oh, yeah. For sure. What? Oh, oh, what is this? That's not quite our pretty fish, but it's very close. I think this might be the female version of the fish we're after. You can really see the colors on this fish. Can you see that thing? Oh, guys, this fish is really cool, but unfortunately, this is not what we're after. As you can see, the patterns on this thing are are a lot different from the ones at home. Guys, if you know what type of sunfish this is, let me know in the comments below, but it's very, very pretty. But I'm gonna go ahead and let this little guy go because that's not what we're after at all. I can't really feel them biting. They're biting so quickly that it's almost unreal. I'm dropping this down again. I gotta catch that really pretty fish for you guys to see, but I'm picking them one at a time and it's really, really hard. Oh, let me wipe my hands. Dude, these fish are here though and they're thick. I think I'm picked up again. Oh, is this it? Oh my god. Check this fish out. This is what we're after. Look at this. Look at this thing. Get in here, guys. Look at the colors of this sunfish. Look at that. This is absolutely unreal. Oh, oh. Check these colors out. Unreal. Oh. Check out the colors of the sunfish. This is insane. Look at the blues on its face and its underbelly. Look at that thing. Blue, blue throat sunfish. 
I don't know what the name of this thing is, but it's really gorgeous. Check it out in the tank. Wow. Wow, just wow, wow. Look at the colors. Hold on, I'm just going to hold them. I'm not trying to stress them or anything. I just want to observe them really quick. Look at that thing. Just gorgeous fish all around. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take him out and show the difference of him in the water and out. Check him out. Check him out in the water. This guy is beautiful. We're going to release him. I wish I could keep this thing, but we're not at home right now. So I'm going to have to just release this guy. See you later, buddy. One more look. One more peek. One more peek on how beautiful this fish is before we release him. That thing is insane, right, Timmy? Yeah. Dude. It's a beautiful fish. Beautiful. See you later. Happy we were able to catch that for you. Show you guys, it's sick. Still have some bait left, so I'm just gonna cast the same bait right here. Guys, these fish are so gorgeous. Honestly, I could probably sell these fish for like 20 bucks, maybe more a pop. They're so beautiful. I'm not sure if it has something to do with a mating ritual or. I don't know why these fish are so gorgeous, but I've never seen a sunfish that's pretty much. Oh, oh, we, we had one. Oh, we had one again. Guys, they're right here. I need to get some more bait. How quickly this is happening. I'm putting on the bait right now as we speak. I'm using live worms. Live worms are always the trick when these fish are hard to get to bite. But we're not playing any games. We have no time. We're about to get on this airplane. All right, check it out. Live action, dropping this thing down. Here it goes. No time at all. I think we're already picked up. I'm gonna let them eat for a minute and then I'm gonna go ahead and reel this thing up. Oh, yeah, this is a big one. This is a big one. This is, oh, stay on, stay on. Dude, the colors of these fish are unreal. The colors are just unreal. Oh, even a normal sunfish is just so much more vibrant and it's so funny. Look how beautiful this thing is. Look at the water. Look at the water. The water is just disgusting. <laughs> But these fish that live inside the water here are like on another level of beauty. Like it's just unreal. They probably pan fire this little guy. <laughs> but I'm gonna release them. I'm gonna use a smaller piece of bait this time, but much smaller because they keep spitting it off. They keep tangling me up. Come on, right here. Come on. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, come on. Stay on, stay on. Dang, that's an ugly one. I'm gonna rele release. I'm gonna release this ugly one. It's it's kind of pretty still, right? It's pretty. It's kind of, kind of pretty. Get a closer look. Still kind of pretty, but this is not what we're after. I really want to show you guys the really really pretty one. Come on. We caught some really pretty fish, but I'm not sure if they're the same species as this one I caught the other day. Here's a clip of one that I caught the other day out here, just messing around. Los tres squad cinco seis. Hey Zach. Look how cool this is. Oh wait, no, he can't give it. Woo! You're so cute. Picture. All right, I have my little bit of bait on this rod. I'm gonna go ahead and cast it out in live action. My hands are really dirty, but I don't have time to be messing around. Dude, gross. Probably shouldn't be touching that either, but I think I have a fish on already. Oh, oh, he took me under. Oh no, no, dang it. These fish are a lot smarter than I thought. It was, it was in the water for like two seconds and it bit. Dang. Always keep a mini rod in the back of your car, in your suitcase, wherever you are. Trust me, you guys, we'll definitely want it sooner or later. What's going on? Oh, oh look at this one taking off. This one is not what we want. Dang it. Another pretty one, but again, not what we want. Even with this golden belly, beautiful, beautiful fish, but I think this is probably a female or something. I'm not sure. We're going to release this one again. We're just getting bamboozled by these fish. Another live action shot. I'm just gonna go ahead and cast this thing out. Hope for the best. I know those pretty fish are here. I'm really trying my best to get one up for you and show you what I caught the other day. Oh, I can't pick up. Come on. Oh, these ugly ones keep getting in the way. This pisses me off. Dude, these sandwiches are really getting in the way. Well, our little worms did the trick. We have our pretty fish. I'm, I'm glad we got to use this tank to observe. I'm going to go ahead and probably make a glowfish tank out of it, you know? Because that's originally what it is. It has a small, small filter and it's really cool. We got lucky. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We caught a pretty fish and that was one I've never caught before either. So, and I did have that clip. At least you guys got to see what I caught the other day. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Hopefully we'll catch something even 
more unique. I don't know. The link is in the description below for Carl's Bait Shop, guys. Don't forget to check that out. It's really good. 30% off after you get like, I think, $49 worth of baits. It's like 10 packs of baits normally, even at Walmart. So I hope you enjoy this episode. Get some baits from Carl's Bait Shop and catch them all. Catch them all. Catch them all. Catch them all fishing. YouTube and Instagram.